years ago, Valiverse burst on the scene with a really awesome action figure line, Action Force. While the name was taken from the European version of their army man that later evolved into G.I. Joe and the European version of G.I. Joe. This line was new, it was its own thing, had its own comic, its own lore, and once I started digging into the lore, I really began to enjoy these toys even more. We are now on series four, and I've been a little bit picky on this, this series. Mostly because, uh, you know, I'm not a big army builder in six inch, and at the same time, we really do enjoy the redesign of Steel Brigade. This is the third Steel Brigade, technically, if you don't count the heavy weapons and the gold head one, in the line, <laughs> you can technically say it's the fifth, but who cares, right? And one thing I will get, I will say, I am going to get the uh, versions of the Steel Brigade that are offered in the line. This and the winter one that is a BBTS exclusive. I'm just waiting for that one to post and I'm going to get it. Now the rest of the series I'm kind of debating. I may get some of those Arctic Troopers, I may not. I may get some of the, the new weapon pack, I may not. I'm debating. If I get the, the Arctic Troopers... I will definitely be getting the uh, weapons pack. But this pack, this set, and we're talking about Desert Troopers. Desert Steel Brigade, it's a brilliant idea. I love it. It's cool. I mean, of course you're going to need to have desert, desert Ops with Steel Brigade. That's a given. And while, a lot of, while this whole figure is basically a repaint, it's a smart repaint and a good repaint, and I like it. Now, I will freely admit, there's some pieces of this new series I'm not so enamored by. Simply put, I'm not buying those. That doesn't mean I don't see parts of this, this series I really love. That's what you do in toy Look, You get the things you like, you move on from the things you don't. It's not hard. I don't know why people have to complain. I only complain when I buy something expecting something better. This is fantastic. I love, I have loved the Valorous version of Steel Brigade from day one. The first time I ever saw it, I thought it was a brilliant redesign. It works. It gets rid of that melon head. The uh, helmet looks practical and looks realistic. And the figures are phenomenal. I don't need to tell you about the articulation because the articulation is great. Now, we'll say, I've seen people saying, that in this series, the everything's smooth with the joints. Mine were tight. Now, I got two, steel, two Desert Steel Brigades. As soon as I got them, I opened one up. Because I knew I had another one to take the impact shot. And it was stiff. I mean, it was stiff as a board. Uh, granted, that day was very cold. It was around 20 degrees outside when I got put on my porch. And it sat on my porch for about two hours. So... I gave a little leeway for that. I just said, okay, we'll, we'll just let that warm up. I let it warm up in my office for a couple of days. I uh, took pictures of the package one. Then I uh, started trying to pose them, and ugh, they're stiff. Am I mad about that? No. I mean, it's not impossible to work. It's just, they're very stiff. Uh, they're not as stiff as the Series 1s. I've only had one Series 1. I know how stiff those are now. Uh, but, you know, Series 2 was also a stiff, and I know how stiff they used to be. They're not nearly as stiff as they were. They are still pretty stiff. Granted, you know, I mean, it's cold outside. What do you expect? The rest of what I get from Valiverse uh, Series 4 uh, will be a little later on. I just got to get through this month. It's been a rough month. Uh, a lot of things going on in my world. So, you know, just trying to keep things sane at the moment. Uh, and I uh, also had a couple of purchases I wasn't expecting. And, uh, you know, so that kind of wiped out my toy budget. Oh, well. Uh, anyway, it's just the way things are. All right. The paint, as always, is excellent on these. I love the little bits of wear on the chest plate. 
Uh, the color scheme is awesome. I mean, it's, you know, desert tan, as it should be. There's enough highlights here that, you know, you get detailing, but not so much that it makes it look weird and break up the sculpt. I think these are colored much better than the classified dusty and just look overall better. I mean, they look like, honest to goodness, desert trips. Uh, looking at some, looking at the pictures of uh, Caramel Crunch Snake Eyes, I think they look better than that too. I really do. <laughs> I know a lot of people have been saying, oh no, look, look, this, the desert is the same thing as the Caramel Crunch Snake Eyes. And I'm like, no, no, it's not. It's not. It's totally different. Uh, I don't know. It's, people treat, try to draw parallels where there are none with Valiverse. They want to see it's just carbon copy from GI Joe. I don't know what this is. I mean, you know, it's the military line, and Valiverse bought the Steel Brigade uh, license trademark. So, you know, yeah, he has a giant Steel Brigade fetish. Let him have it. <laughs> and I mean, I will say it reminds me. You know, I've, I've friend of mine got the steel cord I looked at those figures those were so bad I'm sorry those were just so bad it was such an easy one for them to make I should have let him let do some kind of look at them on, on my set and stuff but I just decided it's not worth my time and I'm definitely not going to buy them for that stupid ass price so I mean you know at the same time these steel brigades are freaking sweet awesome I have loved this redesign of Steel Brigade from day one. I got a few on the Special Deployment Series. Um, I'm getting a few of these now. And I got a couple of the Night Ops ones. Uh, those are both. Night Ops is my favorite so far. Uh, I'd say the original one is my second favorite. And this is my third. Um, you know, and that's counting, you know, Gold Head and uh, Heavy Weapons after that. I did get one for the Heavy Weapons too. So, you know. It's pretty cool, I think. I mean, I think these are pretty cool figures. Uh, they have some issues, but nothing major. I can't say anything majorly bad about these figures. Not at all. The articulation is excellent. The joints are a little tight, but you know what? That's okay. It doesn't mean that it's a bad figure. It ain't anything but. Because, you know, if you think about it, the more you move it, the more joints are going to loosen up. So you kind of want them to be tight joints. Uh, the accessory compound... Clown, <laughs> The accessory count is just like Steel Brigade, man. You know, when you start laying it out, you realize how many accessories are here. You got a gun, you got a knife, you got a long arm, you got all the hands, you get a battle stand, action force battle stand. We all know and love them. And this one is brown. And, you know, I know a lot of people, I know there are people because they don't want to admit that Valorous has so many more accessories than Joe. They don't want to count the holsters, the uh, med pack, the chest piece that is removable, the mags, none of that. I count it. A shit ton of accessories here. You need to be aware of that. <laughs> and it's almost at half price. I mean, I guess that's the thing I'm trying to say is that you know, this is an independent company who has lower prices and are not too far away from G.I. Joe Classified and has a ton more accessories. Why do you want it down this line? I mean, I get some things that people don't like. Don't buy those parts. Buy the parts you like. Stick with the good stuff. Don't stick with the bad stuff. Bad stuff is, uh... I don't understand that. I really don't. Anyway, um... really like the Steel Brigade. It's a cool figure. I'm sure... I'm sure Desert Ops is more popular than most people than Arctic Ops. So I think this one's gonna do well. Um, but yeah, I, uh... You know, if you like any of the Action Force figures, I'd say get this one. If you're into Joe and you didn't like that Steel Core set, get the at get these Steel Brigades, man. These are awesome. These work well. I mean, either way you cut it, you know, they're cool figures. All right, that'll wrap up this uh, showcase of the Steel Brigade Desert Ops. Have a good one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>